Before using the radioisotopes for the preparation of radiopharmaceuticals, they have to be purified. Isotopes of the same element are chemically indistinguishable and thus react identically. The physical characteristics are also similar, which make isotopic separation more challenging. This happens when a radioisotope is produced from the same element, such as in the case of fluorine-18, that is produced from fluorine-19. These processes are referred to as carrier-added. On the other hand, when the starting element is different than the product element, the separation is much easier, as in the case of fluorine-18 that is produced from oxygen-18. These processes are referred to as no carrier-added. Accordingly, it is possible to define the radioisotopic purity, which is the absence of other radioisotopes, and radionucleidic purity, which is the absence of other nucleides. Of course, we have to guarantee both. Typical purification methods include distillation, extraction, and chromatography. Depending on the type of ions to be separated, the stationary phase can be set up to separate cations and anions. For example, in generators, the parent radionuclide ions are trapped in the stationary phase using strong ionic interactions and the daughter radionuclide ions are eluted using appropriate buffers. The purity of the radioisotope, both radioisotopic and radionucleidic, can be determined using a gamma spectrometer. Let's see the data for the purity of fluorine 18. The radioisotopic purity is 100% due to the absence of any other fluorine radioisotopes, while the radionucleidic purity is around 99.7% due to the presence of some other radionuclides. To conclude, we can purify the radioisotopes using different techniques and also check the purity. The solution containing the radioisotope after the purification step is ready for radiochemistry.